You are known for playing a ruthless style of politics. Where do you draw your moral red lines? <laughs> I, I didn't realize I was known for playing a ruthless style. I thought my, my wife thinks I'm a really nice guy. <laughs> my kids like me. Um, I so got a lot of friends. That's four so far, okay. Uh, What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Mitch McConnell takes shameless partisan politics to criminal levels. The guy is the most horrific offender in the history of sentient life. Moscow Mitch is the slime that always puts party over country, and it's sick. And this video conversation is a must-watch for all Americans. It's textbook. You're going to see here the exact picture of a corrupt, evil, horrible, screw-loose, dirty politician, and it's none other than that devil in a suit and tie who soils the name of Kentucky, Moscow Mitch. Let me give you one specific. Help me understand this. I watched your speech last year in February on the Senate floor after the second impeachment vote on Donald Trump, and it was an extraordinary speech. You spoke very powerfully against the most powerful figure in your party, the, the president, um, and you said Donald Trump's actions preceding the January 6th insurrection were a, quote, disgraceful dereliction of duty, and that he was practically and morally responsible, morally responsible, your words, for provoking the events of that day. How do you go from saying that to two weeks later saying you'd absolutely support Donald Trump if he's the Republican nominee in 2024? Well, as a Republican leader of the Senate, it should not be a front page headline that I will support the Republican nominee for president. After you've said that about him, I think it's astonishing. I, I think I have an obligation to support the, the nominee of my, of my party. And um, Is there I, anything I, they could do? I will. That will mean that whoever the nominee is has gone out and earned the nomination. The interviewer does a fantastic job setting up McConnell with his own words and then roasting his vile, disgusting hide by drawing out his hypocrisy. He asks McConnell about moral red lines and explains it in no uncertain terms. McConnell sheepishly grins, knowing his soul is wholly absent of morality. Moscow then spits out an egregious lie that he believes he's the most fantastic human being ever, and he's totally comfortable with every choice he's ever made in his miserable political career. Okay, but Donald Trump earned it last time, and I'm just trying to understand, you know, what you say matters. You're, you're a very important voice in this country. You're the leader of your party, and you seem to hold two concurrent, conflicted no, positions. No, uh, uh, not at all inconsistent. If I just finished, not, not at all inconsistent. I stand by everything I said I, on I understand, but January 6th and everything I said on February the 13th. I understand that, but, but what I want to understand, which I haven't heard you address, is... Because I don't get to pick the Republican nominee for president. They're elected by the Republican voters I've, all over the country. I fully understand that, but take Liz Cheney, for example. You she, want to spend some more time on this as well? I, I actually do, because I, I, I actually... <laughs> no, no, I genuinely want to understand this. I really want to understand how you think about yeah. this, because Liz Cheney, who has the same view of you as of January 6th, mm -hmm. she said she doesn't want Donald Trump anywhere near the White House, and she's going to work to not make that happen, because she thinks that there are some things more important than party loyalty. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you, you, maybe you ought to be talking to Liz Cheney. No, but I'm not trying to... I, I, I really, it's not a gotcha. I'm just actually trying to understand, like, is there any threshold for you of, of what someone well, can do on you a know, moral level? Well, you know, I say many things I'm sure people don't understand. The interviewer then quotes Moscow Mitch's words about Trump after the January 6th assault against democracy. At that time, McConnell was politically banking that Trump was done. Who could politically survive a fascist attack against everything American? But when McConnell realized he was in fact mistaken and that the helpless, incapable fools who watch Fox News and Newsmax can't think an independent thought and will outright buy any sham argument programmed into their feeble brains, Moscow Mitch spun around and left any facade of morality in the dust. The interviewer then quotes that moment when Moscow Mitch reverted to his fascist butt-kissing where he said he'd vote for that tangerine tyrant despite calling him practically and morally responsible for attempted murder on America. Moscow Mitch's answer is classic. He'll support the Republican nominee no matter what. He'd support a ticket of the devil and Adolf Hitler as long as they both have an R in front of their names. How sick. People say they hate bad politicians. Well, what do you think this is, people? Moscow Mitch just laid out his mission once again in no uncertain terms. He'll spit on this country and constitution to put his party's interests first. Not a single person should be voting for McConnell next time he's up. Not a single person. Because a vote for McConnell was a vote against America. It's as simple as that. That's not a talking point. That's not an opinion. That's a fact right from the Jack Loon's own mouth. He just told you where his loyalties lie.
How people in the greatest country on earth can be so stupid as to throw it all away on their own volition is beyond ridiculous. Our military is invincible, our constitution strong. But these morons can be fooled into throwing all of that away in unconditional surrender to an imbecile con man. And they are fooled out of their socks by a scum politician like McConnell. He'll vote for a Republican no matter what. That puts him no different than these QAnon nutcases, evil white nationalist hate groups, and violent domestic terrorists. It's full out accessory to American murder. That's what these morons have in mind is the full destruction of democracy and full autocrat seizure of power. That's what McConnell is approving here, dictatorship, an unending no-rules quest for absolute power. He wants his little crime ring to win to put their thumbs on the rest of society, to dominate like Putin and Kim Jong-il, the poster boys of the Republican Party. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.